music. Everyone knows that Rocky was filmed in Philadelphia. Many other movies have been filmed here as well, bringing in billions of dollars into our area. And joining me right now, Sharon Pinkinson, the executive director of the Philadelphia Film Office. So great to have you with us. Thank you. It's great to be here. All right. So Philadelphia has served as the backdrop for a lot of films. Most recently, Creed II. We've got 17 Bridges, also Split. What draws directors and producers to the city of brotherly love? Well, it's not just one thing, it's many things. One is that we're a very film friendly place, both as a city and as a region. We actually represent the entire five county region. Um, and we've got, uh, we're sitting in the middle of the East Coast corridor. We're close to New York. We've got a temperate climate. We've got more colleges and universities than, um, than Boston and Washington combined. Um, we have, locations that are accurate to every period in our nation's history, mm. not just a one building, but whole neighborhoods. So we can be many, many places. We double for New York, we double for Paris, we double for, um, we for, double for London. Paris. We do, we really? do, yes. So a lot of different things draw them here. And the most important now, of course, the coin of the realm is the film tax credit program. Talk about the economic impact when a movie decides to come here. We're talking about jobs, we're talking about uh, money coming into the area. Um, what kind of benefit do we see from these movies? Since we've had the tax credit program, that we've been responsible for $5 billion wow. in economic impact. So it's big business. When it comes to the tax credit though, you do have people on both sides. Some people say, you know, you have to have these tax credits to draw these films here. Other people say, I don't know if it's that much of a benefit. So how much of a difference does it make when a producer or director is saying, uh, let me pick this city, uh, I'm gonna pick Philly. How much do tax credits really play into that decision making when they're looking for something specific? So if we did not have a Pennsylvania film tax credit, which is a terrific program, but unfortunately it's capped, at $65 million a year, so we run out of money uh, every year. If we didn't have the program at all, we would not have a film industry in Philadelphia. They would go where they could. Period. Period. They would come if they had to shoot a specific location, they'd come in for a day or two and they'd shoot that. And they, all the rest of the spend would be wherever they were getting the tax credit. So they could shoot in Georgia or New York or somewhere else Correct. and just get the iconic or on a sound stage in another state where they could get a tax credit. So talk about that cap. There was a bill in the legislature to raise the cap, but that didn't really go anywhere this last session. Um, so talk about- Now the there is a new bill. There's a Senator Killian from Delaware mm -hmm. County um, has introduced a new bill um, and to increase the cap of the program to $125 million. You may not know this, Erin, but, but Pennsylvania is probably the only state in the nation that has two major production centers, hmm. Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, and yet we're splitting a very small amount where our neighboring states like, uh, like New York and Georgia and Massachusetts and uh, Illinois, they're uncapped. You come in, you present a great application, and they're happy to give you the tax credits because they want you there because they understand how important this business is to their economy. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. Um, what about no cap at all? That's what, in, that's that's what, what those we, other that's states are. Exactly. That's what we, that's what we that's really what need. That's what we want. Exactly. Not the 65, not the 120, but... We'll be very happy to have 125. Take what you can get. Right? Absolutely. A lot, of these, a lot of these films are shot in Philadelphia neighborhoods, like right in the neighborhoods, yes. right next to these iconic landmarks. What do you say to residents that maybe feel like, ah, eh, Sometimes they, they take over, sometimes I don't, my street's blocked off, or sometimes I can't get the parking spot that I want. How do you work with these neighborhoods when we have these companies come in, these productions come in? Well, it's incredibly important to us how our, um, our neighbors accept this filmmaking. So we work very, very hard with the neighborhood associations, with ca uh, block captains, um, we have meetings with uh, with neighborhoods when that's when it's a, a big um, a big shot that's going on there. We'll talk with them. We work with all the city departments, and we ensure that we get them as much uh, available parking as we can. Many times, the filmmakers will actually buy out parking lots 
uh, for the neighbors' cars if they need to be on their mm. street. So we work very closely with the filmmakers and with the neighbors. They want to be a good neighbor, right? And even when you know we hear people say, oh, I got stuck in a traffic jam because they closed the street to take a shot, those are the same people that can't wait to tell their friends that I was right there when they <laughs> when they were Ex shooting that movie. Exactly. So. I was going to say, still, people get really excited when they hear or when they see Philadelphia uh, on the big screen, and they bump into famous faces, like at your local convenience store. So, so who are some of the, the big names that you hear that people get really excited to uh, run into? Oh, well, we you know we had Kevin Hart um, was, was, um, was here with... Uh, we've had Bradley Cooper. We've had. Um, I remember the the one time um, we we had super superstars that were uh, and the sexiest man alive, like Brad Pitt. He arrived in town the day <laughs> he was uh, declared the sexiest man alive. We were, had to hide him out. Chadwick Boseman was here for 17 Bridges for all that time. It's it's there's a lot of really big stars that come to town. So give us a sneak peek. What is in the works? Uh, what's filming here maybe right now and what's coming? Well, right now, Night Shyamalan is shooting a, uh, a television series. Uh, it's going to be a, um, a series that will be half-hour shows. There's 10 of them that are being shot right now. We're mm. excited about that. Um, we've got uh, coming up um, a, another television series that we're hoping to be able to announce very, very soon. We've got about five movies that are, are vying to come in. We wow. just need to get them all the tax credits. One of them, it stars Idris Elba. You may have heard oh, about yeah, that. Yeah, just maybe, yeah. Talk about Sexiest Man Alive. <laughs> That's a hard job for yeah, me, right. you know. Yeah, very hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so it's you know it's really exciting, and so many of our movies um, take place in Philadelphia, mm. which we love. Uh, we not only impact the economy in general, but we impact tourism because people want to come and see where these movies were made. Exactly. They say, "Oh, that looks cool. I want to go to Philly." Yeah, and that and it's, speaking of cool, the film industry is a very key factor in the cool factor of a city. Um, if we didn't have filming here, we would not be the great Philadelphia popular city that we are right now. Love it. Sharon Pinkinson, thanks so much for being it's here. It's really been my pleasure. You were staying busy and we like that. <laughs>